Hello everyone. This is Amber Two Thousand here. Welcome to my channel. Well, I play a variety of games and do new relations for fanfics. I'm really hoping you, you enjoy my content. If you do, make sure to comment below. Leave a like and subscribe with the notifications on. Right, until next time, this is Amelie2000. Welcome to my channel. So, hi. It never came. Corey Price did not remember how she got there, but she didn't truly care. She was tired and just wanted to sleep badly. She yielded for Wes, actual Wes, which hasn't come often lately. I can't sleep! Let's get it over with, she whispered to herself. Her cracking truck lift trembled, but she wasn't angry nor scared. Not anymore. Like an hour body experience, she watched herself in slow motion. She was so tired. In her mind, she felt like a straddled prisoner. The guards had lined her up and were certainly taking aim. Her life had been drip and set, but she was still alive. Nothing was that bad for her. People dealt with fucked up situations all the time. Things Honestly, Tripoli worked out for her. In the story of her life, she kept hope alive. Despite the darkness that shrouded her mind, she knew things would be better one day. Maybe Wastel would come back to her. She would start in and say, Hey, swap cool! She would put her hips and rest her palms on her waist. Then she would slightly part her lips in a half smile and melt Corey's heart by looking into her eyes. Blue and green irises align. Weasel would have some story about his sighting to California just to see if she could do it. And she only would return to save Corey from the sit hole that was Akea Bay. Corey just knew that help would come. Earlier that day, she recalled hating Graysol for not reaching out to her. But now, for one reason, Corey didn't feel the pain in her heart any longer. She felt nothing. She was so tired. Even though it was a long shot, maybe Matt would send her a message. Hope. Hey, Chloe! The test would say, I'm so sorry for ghosting you! She would f beg for forgiveness, not knowing Koi would forgive her in a heartbeat. Of course she would. Tears strung the back of her eyes as she thought about Master's voice, forcing Koi to shut them, just for a full moment. She was so tired. Koi thought about stories with happy endings. Surely hers would even come. So I remember watching a movie where a group of warriors escaped a deadly battle, then took a small boat across the sea. They had to fight vaguely, not knowing their heroic work actually ended the war. The boat was knocked upside down by a large wave, and they all forcefully made it to a desert island. There was, but there was no food or water. And at the end of the movie, a box of candles washed the shore. The man lined the boat with the candles and figured out how to light them. As the wicks burned, the warriors, all of them, passed out from lack of nourishment and exhaustion. As the candles continued to burn, a distant plane spotted the flames. The final scene of the, of the plane picking up the man and saving them from death. A happy ending finally came for them. Chloe again considered hope. 
Mass would walk up and take a photo of her laying on the couch. They would strip back into their childhoods and waste a day away by playing stupid games. She could soak Mass the junkyard. That could be fun. Wait till her Mass would be best friends, she thought. Chloe was so tired. She was since Mass is present near her, but she shrugged that the feeling away. Mass had returned to Kaya Bay but had yet to reach out to her. In some ways, she was pissed at her childhood best friend. She was back and didn't care enough to talk to her. Though, she could never hate the girl. Never Mass. Sammy had dissed herself from Chloe for a reason, but she, has, she was way too precious to hate. Never. He was sentimental, goopy bits. She fought. She was so tired, and now she was sorry to feel cold. So Chloe suddenly, slightly opened one eye and realized she was on the floor. From her angle, she could see beneath the doors. I thought I'd check all the souls. Someone was huddled behind the far end, sitting and probably, possibly crying. Poor girl. I hope everything's all okay. Chloe was so tired. She shut her eyes and slipped into a daydream. In the dream, Mass had come back and they spent an entire week together, baking into Backwell for a night swim, shooting guns in the junkyard, ending it at the diner. It was just a wonderful fart. Chloe opened her eyes. She was cold. Hope, she thought. Her gaze, again, landed on the girl she saw crushed down behind the last saw. Poor girl. Probably failed a test or didn't wear a breakup. Sucks to be her. Suddenly, the edges of her vision began to fade. Colors were less vivid. What am I working at? She wondered. Where am I? When she closed her eyes at this time, everything was white. In her head, she could hear herself breathing. Slowly. She was so tired. Slowly. A happy ending? Slowly. It never came. Hi, how are you everyone? This is Emma 2000 again. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Because, you know, I, I really did enjoy making it. But. So I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like, and subscribe with the notifications on down below. Till next time. Bye.